Well, more than just having a good time, Naya, I am learning how to build a satellite. In fact, Paulette and I each just built our own satellites. Let's see your satellite, Paulette. So here's mine, here's mine. Okay, mine's a little bigger. Do I win? Well, <laughs> our, our challenge here today is actually to see if this will survive launch. Okay. up into space. And just building the satellite is a learning process. Um, I have quite a bit. Let's start with yours because yours is a little, uh, has fewer things on it. So so what's on your satellite? Um, so I have uh, nuclear energy here. So that's the power uh, when it's in space. I've got a spectrograph and that's how I'm going to see things uh, at, out in space. We've got communication. This is a dish antenna that'll send everything back to the earth. And then we've got a gyroscope for navigation as well. Okay, and then I'm going to set mine right up here so we can get a good look here. I Let's see, I've got solar panels. Lots of solar panels so we can power up this bad boy. I've got cameras, cameras everywhere. I'm going to kind of turn this around so you can see because I've got double cameras over there. Bam! I've got uh, a satellite so we can send things back to Earth. And I even put in, look at that, a compass. Yep. yep. So I think the point is clear. My satellite, we're going to have better video and pictures than ever from space. That's right. That's right. If it'll make it to space. If it'll make it to space. And yeah. that's the next step. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to go put these to the test. We're not going to launch them in outer space just yet, but in real life, when people who build satellites build a satellite, they have to put them through some tests before they shoot them up into the air. Exactly, exactly. So show me what's first. All I, right. I'll put mine down because mine looks like it might be the most dangerous here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay so we're going to strap it down. We do strap it down, okay. Yep, we're going to strap it down. And, um, and what is the point of this test? This test is to see if it will uh, be balanced. Okay, now this is a test that they would go through in real life for a real satellite, right? Yes, that's true. So they spin satellites around and around and around to make sure that when they're out in space spinning around, they're going to be balanced and they're not going to get off kilter. All right, let's see how balanced I am. Woo! That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it is. I thought for sure it was going to topple. I it survived. It survived. So um, it's you never oh, know. I lost. <laughs> we lost a couple camera casualties. We did, but you know, you never know what is going to work, and that's part of this is sort of the engineering design process yeah. um, is to test things out and see what might work. Okay. All right. So you are open free admission this weekend because it's your birthday. Yes. It's your birthday. Yep. It's your birthday. Yeah. And then it's uh, so that'll be today is free admission. Tomorrow is. New Year's Eve, but it is going to be open. Yes, we are going to be open tomorrow. Okay, that's very cool. So this is the final test right here. This is the shake it. So we're going to shake it. And we're going to see what falls off. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, it's actually doing pretty well. It did pretty well. My piece already fell off. It, it did, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so they actually do this test in real life, too. Um, when they were doing this test on the James Webb Space Telescope, a couple of pieces fell off. <gasps> so you could Good imagine uh, if it was shaking around uh, when they were sending it up, that some of those pieces would have fallen off. So they really have to do a lot of testing on the Earth before they send anything up to space. Yeah, they sure do. And um, Naya, as I toss back to you in studio, I want to show you one final thing. This is a brand new exhibit, so if you come on by today, you can see it. You actually have the chance to name a newly discovered planet, and you can see some of the names up here. Kids are naming it Raven Song, What's Up, Fred, there's Kimmy. So uh, I don't know, you and Hallie have any good ideas for a new planet if you were to name one? Hallie, what are you thinking? Well, I already have a comet, so um, I don't know. I have to think about that one. You I want to. Oh, yeah, I know right. I would want to come up Haley's with a good one. Mine would be the Nihilator because oh. my name is Naya. So See, that's Nihilator, great. you I get it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to give you that one. I'm going to keep my comment and give you the planet. <laughs> there you go. I'll I'll do that.